guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl Tula Lanique I'm back at it again with another youtube video so as y'all can see by the title we are filming christian girl diaries episode six how y'all doing how's y'all week going today is august 1st and it's currently 11 26. i just got out the shower and as y'all saw i just got done getting ready i'm gonna eat something and then after that i'm gonna be doing my brother's hair i don't know if y'all want to see that but i might show y'all afterwards we're gonna work on planning my to-do list and what this week is going to consist of so yeah p.s a little disclaimer i can already tell that i'm gonna be talking a lot throughout this video so if you didn't come here to get some advice if you didn't come here to leave better than when you came this might not be the video for you because i'm going to be speaking i'm trying to get more comfortable just being myself and speaking what's on my mind because it be a lot it be a lot up in here and who else can i tell it to if not y'all so yeah disclaimer it's gonna be a lot of talking a lot of thoughts a lot of inside thoughts so yeah i hope you're ready okay i hope you're ready girl i hope you're ready boy but yeah i'm gonna see y'all in a little bit okay Okay guys, so I know I haven't talked to y'all all day, but um, I just got done doing Bible study and I wanna quickly come on here and talk to y'all what I learned today. So first I wanna read the verse to y'all then I'm gonna explain everything. So in Exodus 35 verse two, it says, you have six days each week for your ordinary work, but the seventh day must be a Sabbath day of complete rest, a holy day dedicated to the Lord. And then in Isaiah 58 verses 13 through 14, it says, keep the Sabbath day holy. Don't pursue your own entrance on that day, but enjoy the Lord's holy day. Honorable and if you honor it, honor it by not going your own way and not doing as you please or speaking idle words then you will find your joy in the Lord and I will cause you to ride in triumph on the heights of the land and to feast on the inheritance of your father Jacob the mouth of the Lord has spoken so the next thing I did was I looked up what Sabbath means and Sabbath means rest tranquility peace and delight so i wrote down god's rest was a mark of completion not weariness when people rest on the sabbath day they can put their faith in god's ability to finish the work and make it holy sabbath is a reminder that our value comes from who we are and not what we do our culture is obsessed with hurry and the hustle but all that really tells us is that people are enslaved to the endless ambitions of this world the fourth commandment tells Tells us to remember the Sabbath day and to keep it holy. Holy meaning separate or set apart, sacred, living in a way that reflects God's glory and abiding in the rules God laid down for us. And then I said, notice how the only commandment that starts with the call to remember is the fourth amendment this is because if we don't remember sabbath we won't remember our story of freedom and we will fall into the mindset of being slaves slaves again aka the story of when god freed the people from egypt the israelites from egypt 
And then I proceeded to say, God does not want us to be slaves to this world. He knows how easy it is to get caught in the work in our daily lives. And honestly, it can be exhausting. God didn't create us to be slaves, but instead to be free. Rest is needed and holy. So if y'all anything like me, I'm, I'm one of them people that have fallen victim to hustle, 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 grind, 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 work, 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 get it, get it, get it. And so with doing that i get burnt out a lot like it's and then not only do i get burnt out when i get burnt out baby i'm burnt out like i, I need a month break just give me a month it just takes so long for us to get back in the motion of things because we've truly burnt ourselves out but if we obey the commandment that god has given us and we simply rest on a sabbath day which is the seventh day which is saturday not sunday like i don't know why they made i don't know why they like no i had to think about that too. i'm like ain't the seventh day saturday and not sunday but that's time for a different day so anyways i feel like this is something that i really need and it will just make my life better overall like i struggle with resting like i take my naps and woo -woo -woo -woo, but it's like my mind is always focused on what i need to do next what i gotta do do like my mind is always racing and it's like no girl take a break so i'm gonna start obeying this commandment to honor the sabbath day so i'm gonna be focusing on resting on saturdays like it says and be my spirit and all that good stuff so your girl don't be burnt out all the time so yeah i just wanted to come on here and share that with y'all because i feel like so many people deal with this like especially in this generation we are all so young but we are hustling we hustling like we got families to feed kids to feed baby to feed. and some of y'all do but still like we have to understand that our worth it's not found in what we do like we are enough we don't have to be working 24 7. like god did not create us to be out here slaving 24 7. like it's okay to rest to enjoy life to smell the flowers to breathe it's gonna be there tomorrow i promise you it's not going nowhere okay you don't gotta hustle all the time you don't gotta grind all the time it's it's okay take care of yourself okay okay so yeah, I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow. I love y'all and good night, Bookie. Okay, okay. Hey you guys. So currently it is around 3:30. Um, I woke up really early. 30. I woke up really early this morning. I woke up around 7 and then i spent time with god this morning like actually spent time with him and it was amazing y'all it was amazing but right now i'm about to get in the shower i took me a nap around 12 woke up around 2 and i just been chilling but now i'm gonna get up and get ready i took my lashes off and i cleaned them but the thought came in my head to take pictures today so i think i want to take pictures so we might be going downtown around seven o'clock because that's when the light in BT. So yeah, I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna put my lashes on. Well, I'm gonna do my lashes and we're gonna do my hair. It's Okay y'all, so I'm gonna do my lashes. I'm gonna do them off camera because see y'all seen me do my lashes multiple times. So this is the before, I cleaned them really good. Don't mind my lace, I'm gonna refresh it and stuff. But um, yeah, this is the before. I don't know y'all, I be missing my natural face. I think after I do this set, I might take a break because I miss my very like she's out so here. But with our lashes, I feel like I look younger. Like, people already be telling me I look 17. Maybe I'm 22. So. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm gonna shake. 
so yeah time check is 4 54 so i'm gonna let y'all know what time it is when i come back and then we're gonna pick out my outfit this top is kind of cute but i think i want to wear that that dress that i got from tiktok shop not the blue one but the flower one yeah i think i want to wear that they're poking at you with their nose when they tell you it ain't in your cars but got a line in the stars you deserve a lot like a line of cars everything you want already yours if you believe it that's the hardest part of receiving it's your season so as y'all can see, I straightened my hair. I did some little light curls and this is so cute. Yeah, these are my lashes and then I did bottom mascara. Real cute. I'm finna go scope the scenery outside. <laughs> I mean, I'm finna check the weather, see how it's feeling. And then that's gonna determine what we wear. And things I thought I it's 9 25 i got everything i need this is my outfit i'm wearing the shoes that i got from last week they go really well with the fit i added this jacket to match them more and i have my tablet with me and my purse and yeah i'm gonna see y'all at church leaving church it was super good it was communion sunday so we did communion and the sermon today chef's kiss but i'm driving home so i'm gonna see y'all later you know there are those that god challenges in a certain way so that you don't get hindered by being in your own mess although you don't know it's your own mess. And so the Lord allows the enemy to reveal that to you. The second area, the best, the best way to grow, because as we talked about Joseph, he said, it was good for me. He was good. It was good for me. So the first one is the enemy. The next one is being in environments that the Lord positions you in that develop who you are. They develop who you've never seen in yourself before. You know, you feel like you're overwhelmed. You feel like it's too much. You feel like I just can't do this. I need to. And so that is those environments that God puts you in to see whether you are going to stand or are you going to abort? Are you going to prematurely walk away or are you going to gain the fullness? Because whatever you don't finish and whatever you don't complete, you got to repeat. It's her first day of school tomorrow. Look at her. Turn to side. Ooh. And I did her lashes. In the evening, she looks so cute. So we got some packages in the mail. We're gonna start with this one. Oh, okay. So these are some earbuds. I got these for my mom. So yeah, 
said, these some earbuds. I think these are my shoes. Yeah, I thought these were my other pair of shoes. I forgot all about these. These are some running shoes. They're nice. <laughs> they fit me real good. Okay, here. Yeah. These are comfortable, very cute. I needed me some regular walking shoes for you. Now we got this one. It's my wig, y'all. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is nice. And she's so look at that legs. Okay, so this is my rug and it's ventilated. Oh my goodness. Y'all, my purses are here. But it's bigger than I thought, which I love that. Oh my goodness, do y'all? Oh my goodness. Oh my. Do y'all see this? <laughs> yeah, girl. Mm -hmm. This is cute. This is real cute. It comes with a strap, girl. And it has a lot of space, y'all. It's like a lot of space. I like these. So this is the pink one. And then we have the white one. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh yeah, super cute. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so that's everything. We're gonna open the earpiece. These are cute. These are real cute. Oh, these are nice. Okay, y'all, so these are the headphones. This is how you look when they open them. They're so pretty. This is how charged they are, and this, this little light right here, it always stays on. And this is the case. You charge them right here. And it's super compact, super cute. You can just put it in your purse or whatever. But yeah. Real cute. So yeah, that's everything we got, y'all. I'm gonna open my rug, but I'm filming it on TikTok. <laughs> so if you're interested, go to TikTok, baby. Link in the description. Hey, y'all. So I know I have not talk to y'all that much well actually i have kind of talked to y'all but today is monday it's around 12 30 ish but um i honestly think i'm going to end this vlog today because i'm gonna be honest with y'all i'm not really in a mood to vlog this week and <clears throat> i don't know i just feel called to spend more time with god off of social media like it like if y'all don't notice about me like every every quarter of the year i take a week break to like refocus myself get myself together get i don't know like just lock in basically and i feel like it's that time of the year for me to like lock in all the way like spend time off of social media and all that good stuff so i kind of feel like that's what i'm feeling called to do so if y'all don't see me for a week or two, understand that I am I'm spending time in a secret place with God off of social media. So yeah, I want to focus on growing and building and stuff like that. And of course, I'm going to come back with all the tea, everything I've learned. But in this season of my life, I honestly feel like I'm about to rebrand. One thing I've been feeling led to do is delete the old videos off of my youtube channel 
because I'm not that person anymore. Like if you scroll down to my videos, you you can literally see the difference. You can see how much I've grown. And I maybe won't delete it. I'll probably just private it. But yeah, I'm feeling called to do that. Like I'm feeling a rebrand and I'm excited about it. So during this time, I want to, you know, stay at the feet of God and make sure I'm he hearing him clearly what he wants me to do to the direction he wants me to go and all that good stuff um if you want to follow me on instagram you can follow me on instagram i'm trying to be more consistent on instagram like god he had he had like he's been having me go back and forth from different apps like i was very consistent on instagram first then he put a stop to that and he was like, okay, so I need you on YouTube. So that's when I started the Christian Girl Diary series. So now I kind of feel led to go back on Instagram. I don't know how that's going to go though, but I am more active on Instagram. So I have my Instagram on the screen and it's always in my description box below. So yeah, um, I hope y'all enjoyed this little vlog. It was very sparse very all over the place but like i said i have not been in the mood to vlog yeah that's pretty much it but one thing i do want to talk to y'all about is yesterday i have went to the corner store by my house and while i was there it's this man this older man that when i come up there he always be up there he called me his daughter and stuff and yesterday when i went i was leaving and he just started like talking to me like giving me advice and he was basically saying you don't have to please nobody else but god he was like don't be worrying about what nobody else seeing don't be worrying about what other people think about what you're doing he was like the only person you have to please on this earth is god and if you please him then nothing else matters and that really stuck with me but yeah i feel like i really needed to hear that and i don't know maybe somebody else needs to hear that too like whatever god is calling you to do do that do not be worrying about what people gonna think about you do not be worrying about how you're gonna look don't be worrying about none of that trust me i went through all those feelings when i started my youtube channel when i didn't go to college when i decided to do something different i have went through it all and i'm glad that i was obedient to god because it is literally paying off and i'm seeing the fruit of everything that i planted i'm seeing the fruit of the seeds that i planted so know that you're not here to please nobody but god you're not here to please your family you're not here to please your friends you're not here to please nobody but but god okay so whatever god is calling you to do that's what you need to do obedience is key obedience is better better than sacrifice so yeah i'm just gonna end this here i love y'all so much that like, y'all don't even understand i love y'all so much thank y'all for all the support the love the comments the dms like i love when y'all leave youtube and come to me on instagram and tell me how much my videos mean to y'all like y'all be happy me finna cry like <laughs> no stop <laughs> but yeah i love y'all so much and i hope y'all enjoyed this video and I'm going to see y'all in the next one. And remember, God loves you unconditionally, okay? Lock in with him. And I promise you, you ain't going to have to worry about a thing. Okay? So, yeah. Bye, you guys.